If you're dealing with bed bugs, I highly recommend you try out this Cymexa insecticide powder. It's what I used in a previous video to get rid of my bed bug problem. I got a request to go more in depth on my bed bug experience. So I thought I'd make this video try to help more people out. So bed bugs are an extremely common problem. If you travel a lot, when you stay in hostels, motels, Airbnbs, like I usually do when I travel, there's a good chance you can end up bringing some bed bugs back home. So about eight months ago, I noticed I was waking up with red welts around my body that were extremely itchy. I would get them on my legs, sometimes on my hand, my back, even had a few on my neck. I noticed that I would get new bites maybe every other day or every few days, which is a good sign it could be bed bugs because bed bugs don't bite you every night. They usually wait a few days before they take another meal in. I noticed that my bites were in a cluster or a line of three bites, which is a very good sign for me that it's a bed bug because I don't know any other bug that kind of leaves that type of bite pattern. Also, I had bed bugs two times in the past and in those two times, I had the same exact bite pattern, the same swelling, the same itchiness. So I could tell it is a bed bug problem. But not everybody responds to bed bug bites the same way that I do. Some people actually don't get the same swelling or itchiness. So it's not a great way for everybody to find out if they have bed bugs or not. The best way, obviously, is if you can actually find the bed bug and then you'll know for sure. However, that's the big problem. The bed bugs are extremely good at hiding. I went through my entire bed, the bed sheets, the little seams on my mattress, the seams on the pillow, the pillowcase, the bed frame. I took everything on the bed apart to try to find any little crack where the bed bugs could be hiding, and I found nothing. And to this day, I still haven't seen a live or a dead one. So. I don't know where they are, but at least they're gone. On the previous incidences where I had bed bugs, I was actually able to find a few bed bugs that were hiding inside of the zipper where the pillowcase was closing. And that's how I was able to get rid of them before. But this time I had no luck finding them, which is why I highly recommend Cymexa because if you can't find them, at least you can use the Cymexa powder to kill the bed bugs that come to you to get blood from you at night. Well, the Cymexa is basically a light powder that you spread across your bed or in any cracks where you think the bed bugs will walk through. And you basically use yourself as the bait to force the bed bugs to come out, walk through the powder to get to you to get their meal. But once they walk through the powder, the powder dries them out and it kills them within 24 hours. So that way, even though you may get bit, at least you know that that bed bug that bit you will be dying soon. The good thing about the Cymexa powder is that it's really non-toxic. That's why even if you get some on your skin, it just dries out your skin a bit. It feels a little uncomfortable, but you just wash it off with some soap and water. I've never noticed any lasting side effects from it. So it's really safe to use in my opinion. So basically what I did was I just spread the powder all along the bottom of my mattress where the fitted sheet would kind of meet the bottom of the mattress. If you don't sleep on top of the mattress, it doesn't give the bed bug any reason to walk through the powder. They're just gonna lay dormant, which I found out they can live like a whole year without drinking any blood. So if you end up just spraying the powder, not sleeping on top of the mattress, and then in a week or so, you change the sheet so you get rid of all the Cymexa powder, and you go back to sleep on a mattress, none of the bed bugs will have walked through the powder because there's no reason for them. And then now that you're sleeping on the bed again, now they have a reason to come up and bite you. So none of the bed bugs actually got killed. You basically kind of just wasted your time and you had to find somewhere else to sleep. Because you're using yourself as bait, you'll probably get bit a few times in the night where you first start using the Cymexa powder. But after three days, after I first laid down the Cymexa powder, I stopped getting bites. A really important thing that I should have mentioned in my last video, but I didn't know about yet, was that after you originally lay down the Cymexa powder, you have to reapply it for at least like two months or so to make sure that you get rid of the bed bug problem entirely. Because after the bed bugs come and drink your blood, they'll go back to the hiding spot, lay eggs, and those baby bed bugs will come out later on to bite you so what happened was that after about two weeks I changed my bed sheets because they're getting dirty 
and I didn't reapply the Cymexa powder. And then I ended up getting bit again, and then I thought, oh, it's because the bed bug babies have hatched, and now they're trying to get blood from me. So I have to reapply the powder continuously in order to fully eradicate all the bed bug babies, and then that way I won't have any more issues with the bed bugs. So what I did was that every two weeks when I would change my bed sheets, I'd make sure to reapply the powder on the bottom side of the mattress, same thing like I did before, and then continue to use myself as bait. I did that for about two months, and then I stopped, and for the past six months or so, I don't think I've gotten bitten by bed bugs since. There was a moment about three months ago where I may have gotten bit by a bed bug, but I'm not 100% sure. It didn't have the classic uh, three bite cluster or three bite line. It didn't swell up the same way, but I do live in Texas. There's a shit ton of bugs here that will bite you. So I can't say for sure it was a bed bug bite. Either way, I reapply the powder one more time and haven't been bitten since and it's been about three months since then. So I'm pretty sure at this point I've gotten rid of the bed bug problem. If they do come back again for some reason or maybe you know, they're hiding and laying dormant because hey, they can live a whole year without drinking blood. This stuff is cheap. I still have more than half of the bottle left. There's a ton of powder in here still. So I just got to reapply it again and just you know live with reapplying the powder every couple weeks or so. It's not really a big deal to me. And at least I know I can sleep easy at night knowing that I'm not gonna wake up with a whole bunch of itchy red welts in the morning. Luckily for me, I just had a very small infestation and I was able to pretty much eradicate them with a very cheap solution that I bought online. If you have like a major infestation, I doubt this will really work that well for you. But if you're just waking up with a couple more bed bug bites every couple days, I'd say probably give this a shot it could help you out. It's less than $15. It wouldn't really hurt to try. If you have any questions about my process or you think I maybe could help you out with any information on solving your bed bug problem, leave me a question in the comments below and I'll try to get to it when I can. Either way, I hope this information helps. If you're dealing with bed bugs, man, I really hope you get rid of them soon because that waking up to those bites every day was like driving me crazy. But Either way, best of luck to you, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.